sketch the graphs of so r of x is equal to 1 over x and a of x is equal to absolute value of x minus 3 on a set of axes below. Determine to the nearest tenth the positive solutions of r of x is equal to a of x. So r of x equal to 1 over x, that is just the graph of hyperbola, and I know exactly what the shape is, and if you don't, you can just graph this on a graphing calculator and just to get a general shape of it. This is this graph has point symmetry over the origin. It also has line symmetry because if I were to uh, reflect this over the line y equals x, you're going to see the exact mapping of this. Uh, and then we have the graph of absolute value of x minus 3. Well, that's just a v-looking shape. So it looks something like this. Again, we're just sketching this because the emphasis here is a sketch. We're not graphing anything accurately. Then it says to determine the to the nearest tenth the positive solution to this problem. All right, so it doesn't say to um, to solve this algebraically. Uh, it just says to uh, to find out what it is, right? So I'm going to approach this algebraically. Uh, but you're welcome to actually use the graphing calculator and use the intersection feature. I'm just going to show it graph, uh, algebraically here. So this line right here is actually, yes, I know it's absolute value of x minus 3, but it's also the same thing as x minus 3. Right? And then this guy over here is the same thing as negative x minus 3. But because I'm looking for the intersection uh, in the positive region only, so I'm just going to use x minus 3 and set that equal to 1 over x. So x minus 3 is equal to 1 over x. I'm going to multiply both sides by x, so I get x squared minus 3x is equal to 1. I will now subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm almost done. I, all I got to do is just apply the uh, quadratic formula. So negative b, which is just positive 3 then, plus or minus square root of b squared, so that's 9, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times negative 1, all over 2. So the value of x will be 3 plus or minus 9 uh, minus negative 4, so that's 13 over 2. We're looking for only the positive answer here, right? So uh, square root of 13 is definitely greater than 3 uh, because square root of 9 is 3. So square root of 13 is definitely greater than 3. So the only answer that works is 3 plus radical 13 over 2. And the question here says to find the answer to the nearest tenth. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter that into the calculator. Oops. So 3, open parentheses, 3 plus square root of 13 divided by 2. And that's 3.3. .3. So that's 3.3. .3. x is equal to 3.3. .3. Of course, if you wanted to use a graphing calculator, you can do that, and I guarantee you're going to end up with the same solution if you use the intersection feature.